Let's talk about exclusive OR in this video. Here are some basic rules to discuss about exclusive OR. The first one is that exclusive OR is a binary operator, meaning it takes two inputs. And the symbol we use for an exclusive OR operator is looking like this. And when we provide two inputs, since it's a binary operator, to this uh, exclusive OR operator, when they are different, the exclusive OR operator produces true as an output, and when the two inputs are the same, the exclusive OR operator produces false as the result of its operation. So we can show you this by using a truth table as shown here. So you have two inputs P and Q and as you can see the first input P and Q they are the same so exclusive OR operation produces false result represented by zero and the two inputs are different one and zero it generates 1 as a result. Again, P is 0, Q is 1, so it generates 1, representing true. And then, when they are both 1's, the exclusive OR operator generates the result of 0, representing false. So in encryption, basically when you're given a string and the string is typically in a binary number format because that's what computers can understand. So let's say you have a text in the form of a binary number series. So say 1, 1, 0, 1 or something like that. So this represents plain text. And to encrypt this, what you can do is you can provide a string that represents a key and that key is also a binary number string say it is 0 1 1 0 or something like that and we apply this exclusive OR operator and once we do that we produce the results of the operation for each bit of the string so for example 1 and 0 since they're different, they generate 1, and then 1 and 1, since they're the same, they produce 0, uh, and then 0 and 1, they're different, so you get 1, 1 and 0, they're different again, so you get 1. So that's the ciphertext you get. And how do you decrypt it? Again, you apply the same key, which is 0, 1, 1, 0 and we do the exclusive OR operation one more time so 1 and 0 again they are different so you're getting 1 0 and 1 they're different so you're getting 1 1 and 1 they are the same so you're getting 0 1 and 0 they're different so you're getting 1 so 1 1 0 1 is the result of the decryption is it the same as the original plain text 1101? Yes. So this is how you recover your plain text as you can see. So exclusive OR operator is an important tool when it comes to encryption too.